digit, the schedule busy. My head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie. My cousins are crazy, my cousin like boogie. Life is amazing. It's actually quite depressing how bad this is going. Feel like a rookie, I tell her look up cause it's snowing in Tussie. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's study with me slash desk organization video. So this voiceover is coming to you from Oxford and watching this video back and editing it just makes me so homesick. But anyway, I woke up, made my bed as usual and got on with some emails. I think it's completely normal to delete your emails once you've read them slash like archive them or order them into the correct folder but some people think I'm really weird for doing that. And the first task of the day was to learn some proofs. So because I was preparing for my mock exams which happen at the start of every term, there's a lot of book work to memorise. Like you can see how much flashcards I'm working with. My favorite way to learn large amounts of information is the Pomodoro method. So I basically do like 20 minutes and then have a short break. And then during the short breaks, I just I reset my mind and then get back on with learning another one. I also make sure to like keep going back to it. So if I've learned one of them and then learn another one, then learn another one, I'll probably like go back to the first one just to check that I'm still remembering. But yeah, sometimes you learn a proof and then you can learn it straight away and literally never forget it again. And then some proofs just take so long to remember and no matter how many times you learn it, it just filters from my mind every time. I then got a bit cold, so I put on this really lovely blanket. It's my favorite because it's got sleeves, so it doesn't really stop me from working or anything, and I can just keep my arms warm. So yeah, I got back to my flashcards. Flashcards are literally my favorite thing to revise. So if you're doing something that requires a lot of information, then I definitely recommend using flashcards. Basically, now that I'm doing a maths degree at university, the two methods that I use are flashcards and past papers for revision. Hey guys. So I just did an interview for a spring week, which is why I'm in this like really crumpled chat, I just realized. but. Part of me is like, why am I still applying for spring weeks? Because I've already gotten an offer from like the firm that I really, really wanted. Um, I don't know if we should say who or not, but I, yeah. I want to do at least two, if possible, probably at most two as well. Um, so yeah, I just did an interview. Um, I think the assessment went well, um, but the interview was like, kind of like, I didn't know if it was recording or not. I think that's like a big Wi-Fi lag um, in the interview. So I didn't know if it was recording or not, and then it like wouldn't let me stop recording. So I think like that last like two minutes of that recording was me like on the recording. So I did the memorization for linear algebra book work this morning. I've got like two more complex analysis proofs that I need to learn. There aren't that many book works for complex analysis, but the book works that like I've left, the two that I've left are quite long. So I might try and do those in the next like half an hour. And I'm getting a haircut, which is exciting. For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, basically in order to get a graduate job in investment banking, they have like a summer internship, which is especially for penultimate year students, so if you have one more year left in your degree, and then the spring week is for people who are two years away from graduating, so either the first year of a three-year course or the second year of a four-year course. So after my lunch break, I basically did like an hour more of work before getting a haircut. I'm back. I just spent ages getting my hair cut. You probably can't even tell because I've tied it up. I actually hate working when my hair's not tied up. I just, I just can't. Okay, I was doing a past paper before and I'm going to go back to it now and it's not going well. <laughs> it's going really badly. Um, it's actually quite depressing and stressful, like how badly it's going. So I'm just going to carry on doing it. Um, I've got about like, like an hour or so until dinner, so... Yeah, let's see how much I can do. 
Generally, if I'm working in like late afternoon or evening, I don't do a lot of memorizing because I find memorizing is best for the morning. So in the afternoon, I was trying some past paper questions. I find past paper questions like really fun to do when you kind of know what's going on, but sometimes you just get a question where it's on a topic that you don't like, you have no idea what to do. And also the worst thing about past papers is that like most of them don't have answers, especially the old ones. Okay, so I need to take a break now and just like organize my desk a bit because you know i've got this like lovely desk and chair and i just don't think it's living up to its full potential like a stand-up desk so i'm just going to put it up so that then i can like then i can like easily decorate it it's quite big so i usually don't use like over here as much as i use like over here but because of like the way my ceiling works it's quite like slanted so I'm not really sure what I could actually put there. I'm going to put this plant. Oh, I quite like the way that looks actually. It's quite vibrant that thing. Okay, um, I store my pens in this. It was like a candle thing originally, but I'm just using it to store pens now. So I just put that in the corner and then I'm going to put this bear here. This as well. Okay, that's nice. I also have this straw which has gotten quite messy. Okay, so I've just tidied up that a bit and I only keep in here the things that I use literally every day. So I have my bullet journal, um, some hair clips, because like my hair sometimes gets on my face and I really hate that. Calculator, which you think I use like more frequently as like a maths degree student, but I actually never use it. I literally only use it for like banking assessments and earplugs. These are like clean flashcards that I've not used yet. I nearly always have a mug of something. Ignore how dirty that cup is. It has tea inside that I've like half drank. And then I also have water as well. I just need water. So I'm just gonna put that there next to the lamp. Okay, I still have a this. Um, yeah. This is what happens when you write on paper. Like everything was like so much cleaner when I used my surface to do like all of my writing. But now I'm doing past papers, this is what happens. I don't even understand how some a piece of paper made it over there. Time lapse while I organise the paper. This is my list of archived flashcards because I sometimes make flashcards whilst I'm like learning the material. So the flashcards that I make are like really easy when it comes to revising. So I just like put them away so then I don't have to like keep looking at the easy ones. So these are like the definition cards that have been archived and these are like the proof cards. I'm not really sure where I'm going to put them though. I might store them like over here, maybe. These are the ones that are actually like still useful. So this is linear algebra, differential equations, Muska, and probability. I've had this mini shelf thing for years. So this is where I keep like plain paper, scrap paper, lined paper. And these are the books that I brought back with me from the library. Um, they were actually very heavy. I took the train back. So this is dedication. These, complex analysis, linear algebra, metric spaces. I also have some more there. But these are the books that I use more. I think my desk looks a lot more organized than before. Um, I am going to put this back down so then I can show you this. So I've made some posters to help me like revise. As I'm revising like certain topics, I've made some posters. I might fill up this wall. I prefer flashcards, I think, over posters, but posters are like fun to make as well sometimes. So this one is on Bendix and Dulac. Um, this is like an example from D's that comes up quite frequently. Estimation lemma for complex analysis, residue calculus, really useful. And contraction mapping. Again, it comes up quite frequently actually, that one. I actually love my new desk so much. Like before I used to not really like working at home. I used to prefer working in a library, but now it makes me want to work at home. I also find that being able to stand up just makes me a bit more productive because sometimes when you've just eaten like a big meal or you're just feeling a bit sleepy, sitting down just doesn't really help things and standing up really gives you the extra energy that you sometimes need. At 7 p.m. I went to Pilates class, which I go to at least twice a week. I love the class and the instructor so much. But anyway, once I got back, I got on with some more work. 
So I was just finishing off the past papers that I was doing earlier. I have a really bad habit of like selecting questions that I like the look of and then like leaving questions that I don't like. So I was trying to like go back through and like fill in the gaps this evening. During term time, this is nearly always not the case, but because it's the holidays, I do try and be quite strict that I don't work past like 10 p.m. usually, unless it's like the last week and I'm like really stressed. That way I can stay in like a good routine and then balance doing like a good amount of revision, also spending time with family, who I miss so much at the moment, literally, and also doing other things that I enjoy. 